Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Crochet with Diane. I have a wonderful crochet project for you today, a beautiful hoodie scarf, perfect for these cold winter days. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this. It's a one piece garment that's quite simply a scarf with a hoodie on top. As you can see, as I'm trying oh so gracefully to model it for you, <laughs> the stitches are so very pretty. It's called the side saddle stitch, but don't worry, as always, I will show you step by step each part of this stitch and you'll soon pick it up. After a couple of set up rows, it's just a two row repeat and it creates such a beautiful pattern. A hoodie scarf is great for throwing on for winter walks outside, but as it's turned out so very pretty too, I've been wearing this in the evening whilst watching TV or crocheting my next project, as it makes me feel so cozy, sleek and beautiful. Anyway, if you would like to make this hoodie scarf, Grab your favourite yarn, a beverage or a snack is always great. And let's get started. So to make this scarf, you'll need any colour of your choice in a double knit weight yarn and a 5mm crochet hook size. Stitch markers are always helpful. The, this, the one I'm using is a colour changing yarn by Papatia Yarns. So to start, make a slip knot. And we starting with our foundation chain. Make a foundation of 35 chains. So you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Keep going until you have 35 chains. Once you have 35 chains made, we're going to add a further two chains just for the foundation row. So one and two. Now for row one, we are going to make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, hook in and make a single crochet. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to make a cluster stitch. Yarn over, find your next stitch, put your hook in, yarn over and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and just pull through two loops, leaving two loops on your hook. <clears throat> Yarn over, put your hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. And then yarn over, just pull through two loops, leaving three loops on your hook. Yarn over, put your hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, just pull through two loops four loops on your hook now, yarn over, hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, just pull through two loops. And now we've left, we've got five loops on your hook. Once you have those five loops on your hook, you then yarn over and pull through all five loops in all in one go. And there is your cluster stitch. 
then chain one. Next, we're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. The next stitch after all these four will be this one here. Hook in and make a single crochet. And chain three, one, two, and three. <clears throat> now we're going to make another cluster stitch. So yarn over, hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over and just pull through two. As you can see, each time I'm leaving the rest of the loops on the hook until we have five loops left on the hook. So yarn over, hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And we have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we have five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops at once. Then chain one. And I'll just show you one more time. So we start with a single crochet into the next stitch. So single crochet, then chain three, one, two, and three, then cluster stitch over the next four stitches until you have five loops on the hook. So make our cluster stitch. Do it a little bit slow, slower for you. There we go, we have five loops on the hook, so yarn over, pull through all five loops, and then chain one. So, repeat that all the way along until the end of the row. As we're approaching the end of the row, I'll meet you back there. So here we are at the end of row one. <clears throat> We've just put in our last cluster stitch here and to finish the row, we just put in a single crochet into that last chain there. Okay. Now for row two, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five, and then turn your work. Now we're going to make a single crochet into the top of this first cluster stitch. Now it's going to be when I say the top, it's going to be just before this chain three here. So it's going to be in this stitch here. So the sort of the top left hand corner. So we're skipping this stitch, this stitch, skipping two and make a single crochet, which is putting your hook straight in. Yarn over and pull up a loop 
yarn over, pull through two loops. Now, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to do our cluster stitches again, but instead of working them into the chain, we're going to make them into this chain three space here. So if I pull the camera out slightly, there we go. Yarn over, put your hook into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. We're making our cluster stitch again. Yarn over, hook into that space, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops and keep going, same as before, until you have five loops on your hook. Okay, so you've got five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops. Then chain one. Now we're going to place, we're going to skip two stitches and place our single crochet into this top left hand corner of the cluster stitch from the row below. But if you want to look at it as if you're skipping two stitches, this one and this one work into the next and that's a single crochet. It's the same as row one but it just looks a little bit different because we're working into the top of the cluster stitches and the chain three so now you've put your single crochet in there chain three one two and three and now we cluster stitch around this chain three space so yarn over and make your cluster stitch into that chain three space. It really is a very, it looks complicated this stitch, but it's just, it's a one row repeat. And once you get going, it works up really, really quickly. You, once you've got the hang of this, how this each row is now exactly the same. So I've chain, done the cluster stitch, chain one, skip two stitches, single crochet. Chain three, and then cluster stitch around this chain three space from the row below. One more, so you leave, as long as you've got five loops left on your hook, there we go, five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five loops and chain one. So repeat all the way along and I'll meet you as we're approaching the end of the row to show you how to finish off the end of row two. So here we are approaching the end of row two. And I've put a cluster stitch in here. So to finish this, what we need to do is make a, another single crochet into the top of this last cluster stitch here. So make a single crochet, chain three, 
and we're going to make our last cluster stitch around this chain space here. So yarn over, make your last cluster stitch here. And scoot your stitches up a little bit. Okay, so we've got five loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all five loops and then chain one. And to finish, finish this row, we're going to make a double crochet into this single crochet here. So yarn over, put your hook in, pull up a loop, just a regular double crochet stitch there. And for row, so that's row two. For row three, chain one and turn your work. So, for, uh, for row three, we're going to skip two stitches and single crochet into the next, into the top of this cluster stitch. So make your first single crochet in there and then chain three and we're back on to doing our cluster stitches into the chain three space. So make your first cluster stitch in there. One more. Five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five loops, then chain one. Then skip two stitches, single crochet into the next. Chain three. And then you cluster stitch into the next chain three here. So repeat all the way along and I will meet you as we're approaching the end of row three, just to show you how to finish off row three. So it does feel like a one row repeat. It is a two row repeat. The only difference is how you how row two finishes and, and ends and how row three finishes and ends. All these cluster stitches are all the same on every row. But I'll show you what I mean when we get to the end of row three, I'll show you how to finish this row and start the next. Okay, here we are approaching the end of row three. And I've done my chain three and I'm going to make my last cluster stitch in here. Then chain one, and we have this chain five space here. We place our single crochet straight in there. Nice and simply straight in that space, chain five space, make a single crochet. <clears throat> and that is 
row three. So now you, it, that's your two row repeat, rows two and three. So you would start row two again by chaining five. One, two, three, four and five. Turn your work. And you place your first single crochet stitch. Skip two, one, two, single crochet into that one there. Then you chain three. And there you are, you're off again with your cluster stitches all the way along till the end of row two, putting your last cluster stitch into this last chain three space there and making a finishing uh, that off with a double crochet stitch in there. So repeat rows two and three. So after a few rows, you'll start to see the stitch pattern emerge and it really is a very pretty stitch. Um, just a bit of a top tip, when you're starting off repeating rows two and three, just start them off slowly because row two and three, they both of them start and finish slightly differently. Um, so if you're just mindful of that, when just as you're starting out, as you're coming to the end and the beginning of each row, that you're doing it the way rows two and rows three should be done, you should be good to go. So keep repeating rows two and three for 120 rows in total, which is approximately 64 inches long, or for however long you want your scarf to be. So I finished the 120 rows of the scarf, and here it is. There we go. I've got to tie in the ends. I've joined with a simple uh, overhand knot, nothing too complicated. And there is the whole length of the scarf. Now we need to move on to making the hood part of the scarf. So what we need to do now is fold the entire scarf completely in half, exactly in half. So that they're nicely, the two ends are nicely together. So it's exactly in half. I've got my tape measure ready already. <laughs> so now back up to the folded end. Take your tape measure and from the, the folded end, not the, not the open end, but the folded end, get your tape measure and measure 12 inches from the fold down. Trying to keep this straight. Twelve inches, which is here, and then you grab your stitch marker. So you probably want two stitch markers because you want to place 
one through the top part of the folded edge and one exactly beneath it like that there we go so that's and when you undo it Probably can't get this all on camera if I straighten it out. From this stitch marker to this stitch marker is where we're going to start making the hood. We're going to crochet along between the two stitch markers and work upwards. So grab your wool and start with your stitch marker from the right hand side if you are a right handed crocheter and the left one if you're a lefty. I'm a righty so I'm starting with the one that's on the right hand side and the other one's here, this side. So I'm working from right to left. So first of all, I'm going to attach the wool before I take the stitch marker out and just find the, let's pull the camera in. <clears throat> find your top stitch. Just where that stitch marker is and attach your wool. I'm going to simply attach it with a knot. Just a simple overhand knot. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet our way all the way along to the other stitch marker. So pull up a loop and chain one and simply place a single crochet into the stitches or the spaces all the way along. They're not as you can see, they're not definite stitches. So you just sort of put them in between. So what we're doing is we're creating a stitch base that we can then start crocheting into this um, row of st single crochet stitches. So here, I'll put one just through there. And into there. As even, just as even, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just as evenly spaced as you can. There we go. So keep going, putting your single crochet stitches either into that space or into a stitch you can find along the top. And keep going until you reach the other stitch marker. And as you're putting in your single crochet stitches, um, bear in mind what we're doing is we're mimicking our foundation chain that we did right at the very beginning of making the scarf section. And we did these in a multiple of five. So count them as you're going along. 
do a multiple of five plus two at the end. So I've reached my stitch marker here and I've done 90 stitches. So I need to add, I think I can gonna squeeze two more stitches in here. So I'm gonna have to double up there. So put one in there. And I'm gonna put one in where the stitch marker is as well. So that's 92 stitches. So that's my multiple of five plus two. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start from row one using this row of single crochets as though it was the foundation chain. So for row one, Um, we are going to chain two turn our work And we're going to make a single crochet into the second chain. So from, from this does not act as a stitch, but we're going to make a single crochet. One, two, make a single crochet. And then chain three. Then we're going to make our cluster stitch over the next four stitches. So yarn over, find your next stitch and begin to make your cluster stitch just the same as you've been doing before. Yarn over, pull through two, keeping two loops on the hook, yarn over, Put your hook into the next stitch and then the next until you have five loops on your hook. And once you have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five loops and then chain one, then single crochet into the next stitch and chain three and then cluster stitch over the next four stitches. So yarn over, find your next stitch Make your cluster stitch over the next four stitches. We're basically doing row one that we did right at the very beginning of making this scarf. If you want to rewind the video, if you find that helpful, you can do that. But we're using this row of single crochet stitches as though it's the foundation chain. So keep going. Putting in your row of cluster stitches over the space, uh, the, the force stitches chain one and then single crochet into the next and you'll keep going like this until you reach your stitch marker on the other side. Then 
There you go. Keep going like this until you reach your stitch marker on the other side. So I've come to where the stitch marker is on the other side. And to finish the row, put in a single crochet into that last stitch. Okay, so now we're moving on to row two. And for row two, as you know, is we chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then turn your work. So from now on, we're just working between the two stitch markers from this one all the way to the other one. And same row, same as, so you know, you're familiar with row two already, which is we make a single crochet into the top of this cluster stitch here. So we skip two stitches, one, two, single crochet into there. And then chain three. And then we make our cluster stitch around this chain three space. Just like you've been doing for the entire scarf section that you've just done. This is row two. Five loops on your hook. Pull through all five, chain one. And then move along to the next cluster stitch. Single crochet in there. And off you go again with row two. And you'll do this all the way along to your, I'll find it now, your other stitch marker. And as you know, to finish row two, you place your last cluster stitch into this last chain three space here, and then double crochet into this single crochet here. Then you go on to row three, which is chain one, turn your work, and begin row three from there. Obviously, it's exactly the same as you've done the scarf from now on. Obviously, rewind the video to remind yourself how to do rows two and three again, if you need to. But um, carry on now repeating rows two and three in between your two stitch markers. So keep repeating rows two and three until you have 21 rows from here to here. And that measures, just grab my tape measure, that measures 11 inches. You could go higher and create a more slouchy kind of, you know, a looser fitting hat. 11 inches is just nice. It will sit from your head to your shoulders. Um, so that's 21 rows in total up that section there. So go ahead and make your 21 rows and I will meet you and show you how to sew the hood together. So when you've finished your 21 rows, <clears throat> this is what your work should look like. Can't quite get all this on camera. There's the 
one side of the scarf there, and one side of the scarf over here. Okay, so we need to sew the hood together. Now you need to decide which way you want facing the right way. And if I bring the camera in, I've chosen this to be on the right side because if you turn it over, you can see there, the stitches are more obvious to me, but you choose which side you want to be facing the right way. Okay, and this side for me is going to be the right way. But we do need to actually <clears throat> sew the hood inside out. So I'm gonna turn the whole thing over so that I've got the inside facing me as we work. And what we're gonna do, as you can see, but sewing all our ends as well. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna fold this corner down and this corner down. And we are going to sew together this section here, down here. So that this is your hood. And as you can see, you can line up these little shell type shapes quite nicely together all the way along. And what I'll do is I'll be putting in I'll be lining these up, working from the corner out, putting in a stitch marker here and there. Across the top, get those nicely lined up, that one. Put another stitch marker in there. And you can do that if, if it helps you to keep everything nice and neat together, straight, all the way down to the edge. And then we're going to, I'm going to use a slip stitch. You can use whatever method you prefer. If you prefer to do, use a darning needle and thread, you can do so. I'm going to be using a slip stitch. So here, here's the corner. And I'm going to start right, kind of right past the gap. Put my hook through there to attach my wool. And as this is on the inside, I'm going to just tie it with an overhand knot and simply I'm going to put my hook in to that first stitch there through both legs of the stitch and find the corresponding stitch on the other side grab your yarn, pull it through, and then we're gonna start our slip stitch. So put your hook in to the next stitch. And through the corresponding stitch on the other side, grab your yarn and slip stitch and slip stitch through that loop. Again, through the next stitch, try to get it into 
the stitch if you can. Through the other through the other side of the hood there. Yarn over and slip stitch through. There we go. And it's lining up the little two sides together as best you can. That side and then that side. Yarn over, pull it through and then just pull straight through in a slip stitch. Find the next stitch, pop your hook through. And the next one on the other side and then slip stitch it through to join. Okay, and the next stitch So continue making your slip stitches all the way along the top of your hood. That one's got a little bit tangled. Just take your time, try to get the edges nice and straight. There we go. See, it's sewn them together. So keep going with your slip stitches, sewing your hood, top of your hood together. And I'll meet you at the end to finish off. So I've done a slip stitch all the way, as you can see, from the corner all the way down to the front this is the front of your hood. And I put my last stitch in here. I'm actually gonna go through a couple of times into that last stitch. Through again. And to finish, just to make it secure, and then yarn over and pull through. And pull that down nice and tight. And what you could do is grab a darning needle. So I've got my good darning needle. I'm just going to thread the end of that wool on. And because it's going to, it's right on the edge of the, of your hood. So I'm just going to go through one or two times, sort of through the stitches. Making that edge nice and secure. You could spend a little bit of time on this, making sure that when it's open, it's not coming undone. And then to finish, what I would do is pop it through one time till you've got a loop. And then put the needle through here twice. 
just to make a little surgeon's knot. And that will not come undone. And cut it off, leaving a little bit of a tail so you can sew in your ends. And there is your top of your hood. All sewn up. And we just need to turn it around the right way. And there we go. I've turned the hood the right way around. And there you can't see the seam. And I've sewn in the edges. Nice and tidy. And there is your scarf. So go ahead and finish off sewing in all your edges. And there is your hoodie scarf. And you can make it, you can decorate it any way you like. You can put some pockets at the bottom of the scarf, some little pockets and tassels if you like. But there is your basic hoodie scarf.